Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we will talk about the new Mitsubishi Triton 2024. And before you start, subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos, because they come out every day. Let's go. The all-new 2024 Mitsubishi Triton will arrive in Australian showrooms from February next year, launching with four model grades, two cab styles, and two driveline options paired to the sixth-generation Ute's new twin-turbo diesel engine. Mitsubishi Australia has now confirmed that production of the Triton for the Aussie market will begin in Thailand in December, with first deliveries arriving down under during February. No pricing is available yet, but the model grades at launch are the familiar GLX, GLX Plus, GLS, and GSR. All of them will only be available as automatic pickups, leaving the more utilitarian cab chassis and manual versions to come later. The launch range will comprise five variants, GLX Double Cab 4X2, GLX Double Cab 4X4, GLX Plus Club Cab 4X4, GLS Double Cab 4X4, and GSR Double Cab 4X4. All are powered by a new twin-turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder diesel engine, which produces 150 kilowatts, 470 newton meters, and for the time being is only available with a six-speed automatic transmission. A six-speed manual will be made available on select models at a later date. GLX and GLX Plus models will use the Easy Select Part-Time 4X4 system, whereas the higher-tier GLS and GSR score the more advanced Super Select 2 system, backed up by a locking rear differential. The key advantage of the Super Select 2 system is that it allows drivers to run in high-range 4x4 on sealed surfaces by leaving the center differential open, essentially gifting the Triton all-wheel drive before the 4HLC is called upon once the terrain becomes gnarlier. Helping the Triton be as versatile as ever are seven drive modes offered with Super Select 2. Eco, Normal, Gravel, Snow, Mud, Sand, and Rock. As revealed yesterday, the new Triton is bigger than ever before, measuring 5,320 mm long, plus 15 mm, 1865 mm wide, plus 50 mm, and 1795 mm tall. It rests on a 3,130 mm wheelbase, plus 130 mm, and offers up to 222 mm of ground clearance. Under the skin is an all-new ladder frame chassis said to have a 65% greater cross-sectional area than the previous platform, delivering a claimed 40% increase in bending rigidity and a 60% increase in torsional rigidity. The stiffer new underpinnings and more powerful engine combine to yield a maximum braked towing capacity of 3,500 kilograms, the benchmark figure within the mid-size pickup segment. However, payload and other figures such as fuel consumption are yet to be announced. Also yet to be detailed for our market are the grade-by-grade -grade equipment lists beyond the mechanical hardware, with Mitsubishi Australia only confirming a 9-inch infotainment system, sat-nav, smartphone mirroring, a 7-inch driver's display, and Bluetooth connectivity for all variants. The GLS will once again be offered with the optional leather interior pack from launch. Safety features across the range are headlined by the inclusion of a center airbag and a segment-first driver fatigue monitoring system along with autonomous emergency braking, front and rear, blind spot monitoring and assist, front and rear cross-traffic alert, active yaw control and adaptive cruise control, auto only. The forward collision mitigation system can detect pedestrians and cyclists, as well as assist at intersections. In a surprise move, the Triton continues with rear drum brakes rather than increasingly common and more effective rear discs. The Triton's exterior color palette will include two options, blade silver, and the GSR-only Yamabuki Orange. Australia is the second biggest Triton market in the world, after Thailand and Mitsubishi Australia is anticipating a strong response from local buyers. New Gen Triton is such a significant vehicle for Mitsubishi, globally and of course in Australia, said Mitsubishi Australia CEO Sean Westcott. The new model is a significant step forward in many ways, with its upgraded drivetrain, enhanced load-carrying capacity, increased interior comfort, and modern-day connectivity options but it also retains the trademark Triton toughness with a global vehicle development program that included Australia. As with other Mitsubishi models, the new Triton will be covered by a five-year 100,000 kilometers warranty in Australia. However, if you continue to service the vehicle through the Mitsubishi dealer network after the first five years, the warranty extends to 10 years 200,000 kilometers. Friends, I want to hear your opinion about the new Mitsubishi Triton 2024. I will wait for it in the comments. 
as well as put likes and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the latest news from the world of cars. See you soon. Bye everyone.